so when it comes to transformation in PySpark, transformation will help us to change the data frame. So if you have created a data frame and if you are using any transformation, for example, few of the data frame transformations can be select with column, with column, rename, drop, filter, sort, aggregate and all those things. So if you are trying to do the transformation for data frame, there are two types of transformation in PySpark. One is narrow transformation and second is wide transformation. So narrow transformation is also called as a no narrow transformation are also called as a one to one so i'll explain you about that whereas the white transformation is called as a shuffling transformation so to explain you in a simple way let me show you the example here so this is about the narrow transformation so let me uh, just draw this just give me a second so if you're talking about the narrow transformation and if you talk about rdd if you talk about rdd so map and filter are the functions about the narrow transformation so how it works suppose if you have created an rdd we have seen in detail about the spark architecture so let me explain in few words like there is a file for example you have created a data frame or you have created an rdd for example so how does this data sits in your cluster so cluster means you have a group of computers like you have one master or you can call as a driver and then you have a worker nodes okay so this data is partitioned and it is distributed for this this data is partitioned and distributed for this server this data is partitioned and distributed for this server these all are connected again by one another and there is a cluster manager we have seen about the detail in this so if you talk about talk about narrow transformation so if your data is sitting in this one partition okay if you are sitting in one partition and you have used suppose data frame dot filter okay just an example if you use dot filter so what happens here your data stays in the same partition and it will just do the filtration and remains in the same partition you can see this if you are doing filter if you are mapping mapping means it you can see that whatever the data is there Okay, let me give you one more example. Suppose you have a data, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rows. 3 rows are in partition 1, 3 rows are in partition 2, and 3 rows are in partition 3, for example. And if you are using a narrow transformation, if I say filter, okay, filter. So what will happen? It will filter these 3 records and keep it in the same partition. It will filter and keep it in the same partition. It will filter and keep it in the same for partition. So this is about the narrow transformation. So these are the functions like you can use union filter a data frame functions and map map partition and the flat map a RDD functions in narrow transformation. So what happens exactly in the wide transformation is also called as a shuffle transformation. You can see the best function i can say that it is group by okay group by or sort or you can take a, another example that is your join i can say join and this reduce by group by aggregate these are some examples of the rdd data frame functions rdd functions i am talking about the data frame functions what we are mostly using if you are group by if you are using sort if you are using join if you are using uh, aggregation functions then definitely these all types of function uh, data frame functions are of wide transformation wide transformation is also called as shuffle transformation so what happens so let me give you the same example suppose i'm writing 1 2 3 1 1 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 3 something like that now i am using a group by group by based on the group by based on the id column for example so what would be my output so if i am using a data frame dot group by dot count the id or in sql you can write select count of the id from this table and then group by by id okay so what i am thinking like i want output like one two three and how many ones are there so you get one two three four five six six ones are there twos it will count one two three three ones are twos are there and three 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 3's are there. 
okay so it works in this way so if i am using a group by what happens it has to check the data in other partitions also so if is if your ones are in this partition definitely your ones are in the second partition also in the third partition also so it will go and scan all the partition so your data shuffles from first partition to second second to third third to so on and your second partition data will shuffle from 1 to 3 2 to 3 and so on so there will be a lot of shuffling in these types of for transformation so that is called as a wider transformation if you are using join also so just imagine you have two data frames one data frame is sitting here and second data frame is sitting here so if you are using join based on the condition few rows are matching from these two it has to pull out the records from here it has to pull out the re records from here so it will shuffle all the records and the transformation will lead to more time so if there is more time it means that you are using virtual machines or your clusters more time if you are using virtual machines more time your cost also increases so what you can do here is you can avoid taking the wide transformation uh, i mean that you cannot take wide transformation just in case if you can do the work in narrow transformation you can Uh, do that in narrow transformation if you cannot do that then you can go for the wider transformation but wider transformation is costlier than the narrow transformation